Hello, <laughs> this is the uh, OEM screen back on the Kawasaki and I have just attacked it with this and I'm going to have another go. So I kind of did a, a test cut really and it went quite well until I got to the end. It got a bit shaky, but I'm going to try and put the phone somewhere and uh, let you see the next bit. There you go. Oh, are you focused? If you do not focus, you will focus. I'm not doing it in a very straight way, but basically I'm getting closer to this. In fact, I think that's more or less in line with where I want to be. But somehow I'm going to go up, over and down again. So I'm just trying to get this close and then I might go into sanding, I suspect. Yeah, now. So I found mounting it on the bike probably the best and most solid way to have the screen mounted rather than in a vice on the bench, which you'll never know whether it's quite straight or not. I'm gonna get rid of this, rid of that corner. So I'll get some uh, sanding paper on the edges and try and bring that to some sort of shape. Woo! Okay, there's my screen. And uh, I have used some Gorilla Tape to uh, stick down some uh, sanding paper. <laughs> so the plan, is to kind of get down to eye level, kind of squat down or get on a chair and uh, rub this until I get to some sort of shape. It's not straight, not yet, but straight enough to bang on the bike and go for a little test ride plan is I'll get round this roundabout before we test in earnest and uh, we'll see what 40 miles an hour feels like whether there's fluttering of the eyeballs or not right 40 and the answer is no, not fluttering. However, it's not very warm now, so the, the, the air is quite cold and it makes me want to blink. I think if the air was warmer, it'd be less of a problem. Yeah, cold air definitely make my eyes water. However, there's, there's no fluttering of the eye, eyelids. This is promising. So yeah, you can see there is some work to do. Dodgy edge there, not straight across there. There's a bigger radius here than it is there. <laughs> I've left scratches on the screen which I won't be able to do anything about. I don't care. <laughs> if it works, it works. I will clean it up, but um, yeah, I like the look of it. Yeah, fert is uh, easy. We're gonna get up the uh, dual carriageway in a moment. So again, because of the cold air, I'm not sure if I'll be able to manage the legal limit up here, which is 50, with the visor open, but that's really what I want to test. Is there fluttering? Is there turbulence? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. It's just very fresh air. Awesome. Yeah, now we got I'm feeling a bit down to my shoulders. There is some rolling kind of turbulence hitting there, but at a slower frequency than when the screen was up here and the wind was coming around the side. Visor up at 60. Oh, <laughs> I can do it though. I can absolutely do it. This is by far the best result I've had. Now, one issue I think is wind noise. It does sound like there's a bit of a roar going on. That's a shame. So next to no turbulence, it's, uh, my head's not being shaken around. It's a beautiful clear view out front, but uh, feels quite loud. 
Oh, right. <laughs> if I lift my head up, if I lift myself up in the seat or lift myself off the seat, mm. by a couple of inches, then the noise goes down. So, potentially, I could take this even shorter. Maybe, and that will sort out the problem. <laughs> As is the age old way. Keep on cutting. Wouldn't it be funny if I put the flip up screen on there? <laughs> oh, you know I'm going to. I might not even show you that. I, it's there. It's at home. It's in the shed. I, there'd be no difficulty banging it on just to see what the difference is. But yeah, I'm an idiot. You're right. I can't leave well enough alone. You've got to poke it to know it. So yeah, before the light gets any worse and the GoPro footage gets kind of uh, unwatchable, in summary, it was a good idea. I had a feeling it might be. <laughs> um, thanks to uh, the folks who suggested this, or had talked about doing something similar on their bikes. Yeah, I certainly had this in mind, kind of all along as an alternative to a big screen. You know, I, j I just wanted a big screen to work like you'd expect them to work, to protect you from the elements, and to put you into a nice, calm bubble of air. But it never seems to be the case. However, I think at higher speeds, I get a fair bit of wind noise. So, possibly against my better judgment, I think I need to take at least another inch, 20 millimeters off the top level of the screen and then shape the other sides accordingly. I think I'll ruin it. <laughs> But the good news is, on eBay, you know, screens like these, the original screens, are uh, pretty cheap to buy. So if I make a mess of things, I can always get another one. It doesn't cost me much. I'll screw that one up in a different way. <laughs> making progress. Making this bike better to own. Making it mine. Next step is the seat. Now, uh, I have ordered partly against my better judgment because it's 75 of your English pounds I've ordered one of those cool covers kind of a honeycomb mesh which is designed to kind of let more air flow around your um, nether regions and your buttocks and increase comfort I'm not sure whether it's going to work some people swear by it some people think they're a waste of time as usual like with screens <laughs> So all I can do is give you my verdict on it once I've got one. I just need a way to improve comfort before my trip around the NC500 in July. Because if somehow I've totally failed to, to sort out the comfort on this bike, I, I don't know if I want to take it. I might take the BMW instead. Right, that's it from me. I'll see you in the comments. Those few of you who are actually watching these videos about my windscreen, not many of you are watching. <laughs> so I appreciate those of you who are those hardy souls and I'll see you in another video soon take care ta-da